one thing we know about stroke is that outcomes are directly proportional to the time by which an intervention is initiated. I've had two people in my family that have suffered stroke. I've seen firsthand how important it is for those medical professionals to do their job to make sure multiple times that they're looking at your symptoms and they're diagnosing you in the proper way. FAST is used worldwide and understood as a quick diagnostic tool by which both patients as well as clinicians can evaluate a patient very rapidly. When Qualcomm approached us about potentially working together, they had this idea that we want to show that VR can be more than just video games and entertainment apps. In this app, you actually learn how to correctly diagnose a stroke. With this particular app, you no longer need to be dependent just on somebody telling you how a stroke would be like. Now, you could actually visualize it by talking to the patient and say, lift your hands, look at the smile, uh, say something. Can you raise your arms? He or she are actually practicing this so that when they're in the real world and see a patient in a similar state, they would immediately say, hey, could you smile? Uh, could you lift your hand? Oh, this patient's having a stroke. We need to do something about it. We have proprietary voice user interface technology that Forward XP has written that allows you to actually talk to the patient in virtual reality. Can you please smile? I'm speaking to you right now, you're speaking to me. That's exactly how it should work in a virtual or an immersive environment as well. The hands also really stand out, like, you know, it's not something people are used to, to, to kind of seeing their, their presence inside the, the virtual world. And think fast, you're actually reaching out with your hand to touch menus or push buttons, and so we wanted to make those experiences as tactile as possible and for people to really feel like they're interacting with the space. What we see with Qualcomm is a group that's also really excited about what's the next, next new thing. And you know, the Snapdragon uh, technology is really ahead of its time. We did this extremely high resolution capture of the character with full mocap, with audio capture, and we were able to create what we believe is probably the most realistic uh, character ever done in mobile VR. For this demo, Ford XP was using the latest Snapdragon 835 platform in order to render 60 frames per second in VR. We use the GPU on that system in order to render you know, subsurface scattering and specular highlights, all those kinds of things that's necessary in order to make the eyes and the skin look gray. We were able to push a lot more polygons than normal. We had some initial limits that we were concerned about that we were able to, to frankly blow right by. So I, I think what's really cool as a developer and with what Qualcomm Technologies has provided with the Snapdragon platform is that it's, it's all contained, it's all there together. I'm very excited to be working on this technology. We at Qualcomm Technologies strongly believe that XR is the next mobile computing platform. What we're building for now is going to be technology that's going to be transforming the way people consume media on mobile devices over the next several years to the next decade. I think it's a revolutionary tool that is really going to uh, redefine the way that we practice medicine, how we learn medicine, and more importantly, how we're able to teach patients as well as students of medicine. When you can really utilize it in a way that can help somebody save their life, I think that really is a compelling thing.